back to the second of a five-part series on early childhood development. On yesterday, we looked at the first two phases of early childhood development, where we look at the areas of children and their ability to develop trust versus mistrust. And also, we looked at the areas of how children are able to also develop an attitude of purpose and competence in their lives. And what we argued on yesterday is that from the first three years of life, zero to one, trust versus mistrust is developed. And from one year of age up to about three years of age, those are the foundational years where purpose and competence is developed. So today, let's continue the study, and we're going to look at the initiative versus guilt and the industrious versus the inferiority development within children. When we talk about purpose or initiative, it begins to manifest itself in children around age three up to about age six. Now, simply stated, assertiveness begins to show relating to the child inventing their own games, making up characters they play make-believe. They even like to plan their own events. And guess what? At three to six years old, typically the parents or the primary caregivers are invited. Little girls will have make-believe teas or make-believe cookings and they will invite those that they love to come. They make up things like games. They will initiate engaging others to talk or to participate. So the little child, three to six years old, is very comfortable by now engaging other people, their peers, their other three to six year olds, as well as adults. And it's during this developmental stage of purpose where the child begins to take initiative. Now, if that child is not allowed or not supported as they take initiative during this developmental stage, the child may begin to feel guilt and feel like they're really not wanted and honestly, that child may also develop the attitude that they are a bother to other people. If this becomes the pattern within a child between the ages of three and five or three and six, the child may begin to feel reluctant to take the lead in events. In essence, it's during this time period that the child may learn to be more of a follower than a leader. It may be the time when the child is going to learn, depending on the response of the primary adult care providers, the, this is the time where a child will determine if they're going to take initiative or if they're going to take the second fiddle or the back seat. And it's all dictated by how well the primary adult givers can support the conversations, support the games that the children create, support the make-believe characters. Uh, the child is talking about the, the make-believe character in their room. Uh, it doesn't mean that there is something wrong with the child. The child just has an imaginary friend. And based on the development of the child to take the initiative, it's going to also move into the next phase of early childhood development. And it's sort of a very natural transition for most children into what we call being industrious or whether they decide to feel a sense of inferiority. It really boils down to, does this child have a feeling of competence or does this child now have a greater sense of inferiority? Competence or an industrious attitude is the natural follow-up from the initiative versus guilt that we just finished. From about age six up to puberty, 
most children develop a sense of pride through their achievements. So they begin to feel good about accomplishments. During this crucial stage of development, a greater sense of pride about what they have made, what they have written, what they have discovered is shown through their presentations and them telling about it and sharing it. Guess what? With others. For the most part, the child is going to try and please the adult care providers in their lives. So the child now, from age six to about puberty, their primary task in life is pleasing the adult care providers in their lives. And the way the child has learned to do that is through their feelings of competence. They made something for you. They wrote something especially for you. They are now saying, I want to help and look at what I did just for you. They want to share their knowledge with you. And the child feels a sense of achievement when the adult care provider, not their peers, but their, the adult care providers are available to reinforce the child's accomplishment. Now, the greater the reinforcements, the more determined the child will become to become more industrious. Now, the more industrious a child becomes, the more confident and the more competent they become. Are they going to make mistakes? Yes. Is it going to be done exactly the way as adults we would choose to do it? No. But the child needs the affirmation and the child needs the support and the child needs the praise coming from the person or the group of people they're trying their best to please. If a child is not encouraged or if that child is not praised for trying during this stage, the child will begin feeling inferior and doubting their potential to perform a task causing the child to possibly grow up being an underachiever due to fear of incompetence. It's not that the child does not have the innate ability to achieve, but they're not going to be the risk takers because somebody has failed to compliment, to praise, to applaud, not the end results, but the efforts of the child. And as they get older, they're going to become more industrious and they're going to become more determined to do the job better than before. The struggle to maintain initiative and the struggle to maintain industrious attitudes in children moves into adulthood. There's an Old Testament book, the book of Nehemiah, chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. The children of Israel have been away from home, away in exile, and now they're returning. But I want you to listen to how praise and compliments are going to be withheld from them and the damage this could have done. But it came to pass that when Samballot heard that we rebuilt the wall, he was angry and he took great indignation and he made fun of the work. And he spake before his brethren, the army of Samaria, and said, What do these feeble Jews? He's saying this publicly, insulting the people who are excited about being industrious and they are excited about taking the initiative to build. So he, spoke, he speaks publicly and he tries to shame them. Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end to the day? Will they revive these stones out of the heaps of the rubbish? Now, to buy the Ammonite was by him. Now, watch what happens when condemnation and the withholding of praise takes place. It becomes contagious. So, Tobiah said, Even that which they built, if a fox go up, he shall break down their stones. Will this create inferiority within a child? Or will this create competency? Come back tomorrow and we will talk about the next phase of early childhood development. I'll see you back in class again tomorrow. Don't be late and don't skip class.